Tonight's state election officials say FEMA isn't just helping with storm recovery. It's also helping with making sure people can vote. Early voting begins in North Carolina on Thursday, so less than two days from now. It's the most popular form of voting in recent general elections. And this year, uh, we can expect a similar outcome. State election officials say in 2020, see the number here, 65% of North Carolina voters chose in-person early voting. That was up from 2016 when that number was 62%. Now on Thursday, more than 400 early voting sites will open across the state. And that does include disaster areas in western North Carolina. Despite the destruction caused by Hurricane Helene, 76 early voting sites will open to voters on Thursday in the 25 Western North Carolina counties listed in the federal disaster declaration. These are those 25 counties the State Board of Elections Director Karen Brinson Bell just mentioned, and they do include Mecklenburg, Gaston, Watauga, and Ashe counties. Now, all 25 of these counties in Western North Carolina are under a disaster declaration from Helene. Before the storm, 80 sites were planned in those counties, so that means the board only lost a few sites, despite the extensive damage, the loss of power, water, internet, and so much more. A key message from today's meeting, the people of Western North Carolina will vote. The Board of Elections says all the credit goes to FEMA, emergency management, power crews, and everyone helping with storm recovery. Of course, before you head to the polls, there are a few things you need to know. Take a look here. Again, early voting begins Thursday. It runs until Saturday, November 2nd. Voters can cast their ballot at any early voting site in their county. During early voting, you can also do same day registration. And you can find all this information on early voting and polling locations on our website. Just head to WBTV.com. Coming up next here on On Your Side Tonight.